Hi, this is Nick in 3WG, and I'm going to give a quick demo of uh, some added pigtail functionality, or some new pigtail functionality I've been working on. So here I have a KX3 and a pigtail, and this pigtail is running the new firmware that allows it to act as a soft access point. And what that gives us the ability to do is talk to Android. So uh, this app here, this is Hamlog. Now uh, it's been available in the Android market for about two years, and um, I have recently added in the past few days pigtail to it. So if we go to tools and pigtail, so we have IP address, radio type, and model. Uh, the IP address here, 10.1.1.1, is the IP of the pigtail. Radio type right now, there's Elecraft and Yesu in there. Uh, under Yesu, you'd have 857, 897, 817. But we're going to be talking to Elecraft. For we have uh, for Elecraft we have KX3, K3, and K2. So we're talking to a KX3. We're going to hit save there. Go back and add a contact. And you can see frequency and mode got filled in there from the radio. If I spin the VFO over here, you can see the frequency changing there. Or if I change the mode, it says AM. And up top we have this new pigtail button. So if I click on that, this is our control panel. It's all the same functions that you'd see in the uh, iOS version for pigtail. So up top we have VFO A and B. On the right we have the mode. Just below that we have a signal strength indicator followed by the antenna, whether it's one or two. And we can set frequency, go up and down. And if we turn on fast, it'll go by uh, one kilohertz increments. If not, it's 10. Uh, below that we have band and mode, and these are uh, drop-down boxes. And then below that we have uh, various states like MB and R, preamp, attenuator. And then we can transmit, tune, spot, switch between VFO A and B, or switch antennas. So let's hit some of these buttons here. So let's change frequency. Let's go to 1, 2, 3, 4 the radio click back there and we're now down at one megahertz so if I hit the up button here uh, you can see up top where it says VFO A frequency it's incrementing and if we watch the radio same thing and if I go fast it will go up by kilohertz and back down so band, if I press that, we can go to 30 meters. Radio switched over there. And mode, let's go to CW. So we're on CW now. And then the state, so um, you can see that uh, these are on-off switches. So if I turn one of them on, like the attenuator, then it, it now says on. And if we look at the radio, and I hit the same button, you see it turn on and off there. Uh, same for preamp or MB and NR to be decided, to be determined. Uh, switching between VFO A and B, watch the frequencies up top, they'll just swap. Spot, I can turn that on. And I don't have a dummy load on here, so I'm not going to transmit. And then switching between antennas on the radio says not applicable. So there's a little bit more functionality in this user interface for the K3. And then K2 is a little bit less. And then uh, 817, 57, and 97 are all the same. Uh, ICOM and Kenwood are not in here yet, but uh, I will be working on it. And uh, this sh should be in the market uh, this afternoon. So uh, by the time you see this, it should be available. So take a look and let me know what you think. Thanks.